Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Tam Psych Advice. I'm Tamara, and today I'm going to do a video on ESTPs, ISTPs, ESFPs, and ISFPs. They are part of the sensor perceiver family, and I would love to do more videos about these types. I, they are just as important as any other type, but in MBTI YouTube world, it seems that most people are interested in the intuitive types and the intuitive types are more interested than the SPs in learning about Myers-Briggs. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things, time is of the essence. And if the video isn't going to be watched much, then, you know, it's like, mm, it's time consuming. So, but I still think it's important for us to put videos out there about every type and so today I want to focus on sensor perceiving types and you really need one of these people in your corner it helps to have them in your friend circle and your work circle and your church circle because they bring many gifts to the table that are very much needed to make the society a better and more wonderful place and so we need them and they are a bigger group than most the sps and the sjs make up the majority of the types so as far as like you know you can you can find lots of esfps and lots of escps and you're going to see different varieties and ranges of them but to get more details i did do a video on sp world so check that out but the reason why I like having these types, I mean, from a genuine standpoint, a friend is a friend, but SPs, they can bring up the rear. In other words, they get that last minute quick energy. So if something is going left, they can step in, take over, take charge and make things happen, make everything okay, because they're not flustered by that. They are adventure seeking they are adrenaline junkies sometimes you'll see people racing on the freeway or on the highway those are probably sps because they like that adrenaline rush they like to do things very quickly if they can but it's they are very helpful to have around i like that they are able to keep their head when all about them are losing theirs and blaming it on you that is an excerpt from the poem, If by Rudyard Kipling, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get copyrighted for quoting that, but I like that they are able to keep their composure and shift gears and change strategies and pivot and move in a different direction. They don't fall to pieces like I, as an ENFJ, do when things, when plans go awry and things don't happen the way you think they should, they can step in at a moment's notice and make everything okay again. They can keep a level head. They can think clearly in the midst of chaos. Um, and it just makes everything better. They are very spontaneous. They are quick thinkers. They're also very intelligent people. I think they deserve more credit for that. They are very smart because they, they are very detailed oriented. They can remember a lot of facts and details and they can be very precise and orderly in the way that they execute because they've got that sensor thing going, which is great at details, great at sequencing. So they are awesome. SPs are your party people. So if you're throwing a party and you want everybody to have a good time, you probably want to make sure that lots of SPs are there because they're they're very at home with fun and liveliness and having a good time. Whereas I think me as an ENFJ, I don't know if I bring that much fun to a party. <laughs> I mean, a lot of other types would probably not make a party as fun as if you have the SPs, because they're going to dance, they're going to sing, they're going to talk to people, they're going to engage, they like to connect, and it's just going to be better. They have an easygoing energy. So SPs are good at scanning their environment for opportunities 
for action and enjoyment. They are tuned into the details around them. So they notice things that intuitive types do not notice. They are realistic. So instead of what if, they're going to be thinking what's happening right now. Don't worry about the what if. Um, they might like to grocery shop, for example, every day because they don't know if their taste buds will have changed by the time work is over. So they like to leave things open so that they can make decisions at the last minute because they want to satisfy their senses. They want to be physically engaged and have fun and they're always ready for new experiences. They can jump into action at a moment's notice, uh, go with the flow, they're adaptable and can integrate themselves into any situation. And so they are great to have around, uh, keep them close by. They are smart, they are fun, and they're just very, very needed in our society. You know, if a tragedy happens, they can jump in there and save the day. No questions asked. So um, if you want me to do more videos on SPs, let me know in the comments. And do you have any SP friends? And if so, let us know in the comments what you love about them. And if you're interested in love, whether it's with an SP or another type, check out my book, Flip the Script on Love by Tamara Hunter Zion. It's on Amazon and I think it will hope it will open up your love life and help you move in a really positive direction and you'll get a little piece of me that you get to kind of see my thought thoughts on love. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe because it makes me really happy. Hit the like button and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.